I'm Natasha Tracy for Breaking Bipolar at HealthyPlace.com. This week I've been writing a little bit about suicide threats. They're on my mind. I had to deal with one last week um, in a particularly dramatic fashion. And I just want to talk a little bit about the concept that people threaten suicide specifically for attention. Now, I don't exactly know how this particular myth got started, but I want to be clear in that it is, in fact, a myth. People don't run around saying, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, so that people will throw them a big party. There are many ways to get attention in life, and that's not a very good one. Now, it's not impossible to think that someone would threaten suicide for reasons that aren't related to death specifically. However, I would call that the major minority of cases. In the majority of cases, people are threatening suicide because they are extremely desperate. And they're not desperate for attention. They're desperate for help. They are desperate because they're in extreme distress. They're in extreme pain. And they just want that pain to end. In most cases, people are threatening suicide because they are extremely serious about dying. It's not something that's said off the cuff. People aren't simply saying, oh yes, I'm going to kill myself, and then they just mean it as a joke. That's not what people do. People are in such extreme distress, they feel that death is the only out. And that's what they're trying to say. They're trying to say, I'm in so much pain, I don't think there is an answer here on the earth. I think the only answer for me is death. That is what a person is saying when they threaten suicide. It's not minor, it's not a joke, and it's not a cry for attention. It's something else entirely. It's a person that needs your help and they need your compassion. What they don't need is you ignoring them, or you making fun of them, or you egging them on. Because this person really is probably very close to death, and your inaction, or your inappropriate action, can very much drive them over the edge. It's not your attention, and your negative attention isn't what they're looking for. They're looking for help. And your job as a person who has witnessed a suicide threat is to do the very best that you can to get them that help. My name is Natasha Tracy, and this is Breaking Bipolar for HealthyPlace.com.